My girlfriend cheated with her manager, so I changed the locks and left town for a week. I never thought I'd be the one posting something like this, but here we are. So, my living girlfriend cheated on me with her boss at the movie theater where she works, and I just had to share what went down. First off, some background. My girlfriend Ashley and I have been together for almost three years, and we've been living together for the last year. We had our ups and downs, like any couple, but I thought we were in a pretty good place. Boy, was I wrong. A few weeks ago, Emily, an old friend from school, got a job at the same theater as Ashley. Emily and I were never super close, but we always got along, and I was glad that she and Ashley would be working together. Well, it wasn't long before Emily caught wind of what was going on between Ashley and her scumbag manager. Emily, being the good person she is, couldn't stand by and let me be in the dark about it. So she called me up, and after some initial small talk, she dropped the bomb on me. At first, I didn't want to believe it, but she had proof. She sent me a photo of them getting a little too cozy in the break room as well as a short video of her going into his office. She said she didn't come out for over an hour. When she did come out, she managed to get another pic of her. Her clothes weren't the same and her makeup was all smudged. It was undeniable. I was heartbroken and furious, but Emily managed to talk me down from the edge of losing it. She convinced me that instead of confronting Ashley and starting a huge fight, I should take the high road while also getting some sweet revenge. I had to admit, she had a point. So, with Emily's encouragement, I came up with something that would definitely do the trick. I decided to change the locks on my house, ghost Ashley completely, and leave town for a week, giving her a taste of what life would be like without me. I knew she'd panic when she couldn't get into the house or reach me, and honestly, the thought of her freaking out was pretty satisfying. I started by getting new locks and changing them while Ashley was at work. Then, without leaving a note or sending any texts, I packed a bag and drove to a friend's place about two hours away. I stayed with him for a week, completely off the grid. I turned off my phone and didn't use any social media, making it impossible for her to track me down. Over that week, I heard through the grapevine that Ashley was losing her mind. She couldn't get into the house or reach me, and her stuff was all locked inside. She was a mess, and honestly, it was kind of great to hear. My heartbreak was slowly turning into something else, a feeling of control and satisfaction. I knew I had to see this through. When I finally came back to town, I didn't even let her know I was home. I wanted her to sweat it out a bit longer. Sure enough though, three days after my return, she showed up at the house, frantic and on the verge of tears. I answered the door and acted like I didn't know who she was. I played it cool, asking if I could help her with something. She was hysterical, thinking I had died or something, and she started babbling about how she was worried to death and all. LOL. I continued to play dumb, saying I'd just bought the house and had no idea who she was. I told her that someone had left a bunch of stuff in the house, and if it was hers, she should take it and leave before I burned it all. You should have seen her face. It was priceless. It was like she was in the twilight zone, and I was really enjoying watching her fly through the entire gamut of emotions. I couldn't keep up the act forever, though. I finally broke character and said I thought I recognized her, but she couldn't be the girl I thought I knew because that girl had cheated on me. The shock and realization on her face was almost too good to be true. It was like, all in one moment, she knew what the last 11 days of torment was all about. I got you, bitch. I told her to get her crap out of my house and to never call me again, ever. She started crying and begging for forgiveness, but I wasn't having any of it. I told her she needed to leave before my new girlfriend showed up for our Netflix and chill date. There was no actual date planned, but I knew she'd be more likely to leave if she thought another woman was coming over. So she did just that. She took her boxes and left in tears, apologizing and sobbing like an idiot. Serves her right. I can't help but feel proud of the psychological torment she went through, as well as the inconvenience of not having access to any of her stuff. I know it's a bit twisted, but after what she put me through, I felt like she deserved it. Now, for the cherry on top. Remember Emily, the old friend from school who ratted out Ashley? Well, we started hanging out more after this whole ordeal, and one thing led to another. We're dating now, and things are going really well. It's like life threw me a curveball, but I managed to hit it out of the park. So, Reddit, that's my story. I never thought I'd be one of those people posting crazy revenge tales, but here we are. I guess sometimes life has a funny way of working things out. And as for Ashley, I hope she learned her lesson. Don't mess with someone who's willing to change the locks and leave town for a week. Word of advice for anyone going through something similar. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself and take control of the situation. I could have easily just confronted Ashley and had a huge, messy fight, but instead, I took the high road while also getting some sweet revenge. And look where it got me, a new, better relationship and a story that I'll never forget. So what do you think, Reddit? Was my revenge justified? Or did I go too far? Let me know in the comments. And if you've got any wild stories of your own, I'm all ears. Well, like he said, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threats.